I've been a loyal Democrat, and this issue with the books came up, and thanks to the parents who exposed these sexually explicit books in our school, they were the first people and the, and the front line, and they received so many attacks, so many uh, harassments, uh, because they, they stood up and said, enough is enough. Then, uh, here we go, we fast forward the situation. We are uh, collective parents by thousands attending the school board meetings and saying, hey, these ex sexually explicit books has no place in our schools. And the whole democratic elected officials in our city, which is a great city, by the way, stayed in the sideline. Not only they stood in the sideline, they went there and actually start calling the parents who went there and protested and showed up to the meetings as bad faith actors, religious extremists. And somebody well, Let's talk about actually, that for a second, because I give you the point. You win the point of Colbert did okay. the wrong thing, because you do exist, and he was mocking you because it sounds like such a silly idea. Okay. Uh, it's not a silly idea. It's a serious idea. But I do want to take one beat on whether or not it's the right idea. A lot of those books, I don't understand the objection to the books. The book that you didn't like, uh, you believe was sexually subjective. It was about a father teaching his son about intercourse. And you don't like that. But are you worried about this slippery slope when it comes to tolerance? That right now, you're expressing that there's certain ideas that you don't like, that you don't want your kids exposed to. Are you worried when you start picking which ideas are OK, that we become vulnerable to other people's interpretations of ideas. I mean, you understand better than I could ever uh, tell anybody what it can mean to be a Muslim man in America. We remember what happened in 2001. Are you afraid that talking this talk about these ideas are not OK, I don't want my kids exposed to this, that it may be turned against other minorities in this country, as it may be done to the LGBTQ community? Well, thousands of people who attended the Durban Board of Education, they're not only Muslims. There is Christians, there is Jews, there is... It's, 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 it's concerned parents that uh, a collective of all faith and religion... I know, but Khalil, what I'm saying is a lot... I don't know who the people are specifically, but in looking at the politics of it, a lot of them are the same people who are agreeing with Islam hates us. Islam has a problem with us, which, of course, wasn't true, and we had to go through a whole civic understanding and education. But that is the price of unbridled intolerance. Are you not at all concerned that when you say these ideas and these books are no good for my kids, they should be out, that you're opening a door to intolerance? Well, um, actually, I heard that that same notion, not only from, from some people, but from well-known public figures in our city, they said, if you let or allow or welcome the Republican Party, who are actually standing up for the parents today and the families, in Dearborn, they hate you, they will deport you, and they will shut down your mosques. And for me, as a concerned parent, I'm, I'm, I'm really focused on the, the, the fact or the issue. I want these books, just like any other parents, uh, out of touch for my children. That's my main concern. I get it. But the question uh, is where it goes I from there. I cannot control. I, I, but I, I don't understand, I I don't understand that criticism the, what, you have of what they said the Republicans would do to you. I don't, I don't accept any of that. That's not my point. My point is just about what happens when we start to censor ideas. Right now, there are largely themes and books that go to the LGBTQ community, which is a very fragile community. They're vulnerable. And a lot of those kids rely on books as a source of comfort for their own understanding of their identity. So we got to be careful about it. But I appreciate you coming on, and I appreciate you making the case. I appreciate it, Khalil. Thank you. All right, I appreciate it. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.